Deforestation is the process of removing trees and forests from a landscape. This may be done for many reasons, including making way for other land uses such as agriculture, and also to harvest for wood resources. Although it might not be something you see or hear about every day, deforestation is a problem that is happening all over the world and has been for many years. You might be wondering, how does this affect me? Why should I care? Well, think about the desk that you're sitting at and the pencil and paper you're writing with, along with the majority of the furniture you use at home. What do they all have in common? They're all made from trees. We use trees to make a lot of different products that we use every single day, which means we have to cut down a lot of trees to make them. So now you may be thinking, well, why should I care? There are lots of trees and forests on Earth. It's true, there are a lot of trees on Earth. In fact, forest covers a quarter of all land surfaces on Earth. But the problem is the rate at which we harvest them. Currently, humans are cutting down forests at a rate of 36 football fields per minute. Deforestation affects many ecosystem functions, but the question we're asking in this video is, how does this affect the climate? First off, let's talk about carbon cycling. Think about how you breathe. You breathe in oxygen, and you breathe out carbon dioxide. Plants and trees do the opposite. They absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen through a process called photosynthesis. When we cut down large amounts of trees, carbon dioxide is no longer absorbed and it stays in the atmosphere. This is a problem because carbon dioxide acts as a greenhouse gas. This means it acts like a greenhouse by absorbing and re-emitting radiation back down to Earth. We further contribute to this when we burn forest materials because the carbon stored in them is then released into the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases have a warming effect, and because large amounts are being released into the atmosphere all around the world, they are having a global warming effect. On the local scale, however, deforestation is having a different effect. First, let's talk about albedo. The albedo is the amount of light that is reflected off a surface. The main control of albedo is the surface's color. Picture a black car in the sun. Dark colors absorb most of the light, which is why black cars get so hot on a sunny day. White reflects light, which is why white cars don't heat up as much. The same is true with land. A dark surface, such as forest cover, will absorb light, while a bare surface, such as grass, will reflect more light. This causes a local cooling effect. Precipitation patterns are also affected by deforestation. When it rains, Plants and trees absorb water. Through transpiration, plants lose water, which is evaporated into the atmosphere. Clouds form from the evaporated water, and when enough is collected, it begins to rain. The cycle then repeats itself. However, the cycle is disrupted when deforestation occurs. When it rains, there are no trees left to uptake the water, so most of the fallen rain collects and moves off the surface as runoff. This means that little water is left to be evaporated, which means there's a smaller contribution towards the formation of clouds and rain. Eventually, this degrades the environment because it's lacking the water that it needs. Deforestation has many negative impacts on the environment, but it can't be completely stopped because humans rely on it so heavily. So what can we do? One way to fix this problem is to change how we harvest trees. Instead of cutting down every single tree, we can selectively choose trees to cut and leave others to try and help maintain some of the ecosystem functions. Protecting and conserving ecologically sensitive areas is another way to decrease impacts of deforestation. By selectively choosing regions, we can conserve old growth forests and also protect endangered species habitats. You can make a difference too. Just follow the three R's. The first one is reduce. This means using less. Whether that be paper, tissue, or even toothpicks, just try to use less. The next one is reuse. This one is easy and can save you money. For example, use reusable containers and cups instead of disposable ones. Another example is to reuse old furniture or pass it on to someone else. And lastly, the third R is recycle. This means disposing of waste properly. Make sure recyclable items go into the correct bins so that they can be remade into something new. Try and reduce your impact. You can make a difference.